Part of instrumentation training, we're going to do a level control using a tank and then to sense the level in the tank, we're going to use a transmitter, uh, a level transmitter which senses the pressure in the tank where pressure is dependent on level in the tank and this signal is transmitted to the, to the controller in the loop. I'll show you the controller shortly and then we've got the control valve that controls the level in the tank at a set uh, point, depends on the set point that we have. We're going to control the level in the tank there. And then here we've got the level controller, which uh, the signal comes from the transmitter into the controller. It analyzes the signal according to a set point and gives the signal to the valve to maintain the level in the tank at the set point. Okay. And here again, we, uh, we've got a loop which needs to be wired up by the learners according to a drawing. So the loop is pre-wired up for us already. So all we're going to do now is start the pump and then watch our level in our tank. Okay, on our level in our controller, we can see the level is increasing gradually as the tank fills up until we reach 50% and then it will maintain at that level. Okay, you can see it's 38 now and rising. And at the same time, we record the level in the tank using a recorder. So you can see past history of what the level in the tank performed. You can see we're close to the set point now, which is 50%. And once it reaches there, it'll maintain at that level until the set point is changed to a different value. Okay, as you can see there, the level is maintained at 50. And at the same time, we're maintaining a flow rate the signal coming from a flow transmitter onto a flow indicator here, so we can see what is the flow per liters per minute. Okay, so I'm going to make a step change to increase the level and see what is the response of our loop. So I'm going to make it 55 percent. You can already see that the, that the level is increasing, the valve is responding to the change and it will settle at 55 percent at our new set point. Okay, that's settled at 55, the level will maintain at that point and then we use the controller to set the PIDs, which uh, P is which is proportional. Proportional is uh, basically the, the change in your error is proportional to the change on your valve position. So we can set that up for different responses in the loop and the uh, integral time is basically the time set to uh, is the time used to, uh, to make changes to the proportional band. So basically we are speeding up the loop or you can slow down the loop depending on the type of loop that we are using. Okay. And then we come into the wiring where the learners wire up the loop according to the drawing. And then here we do a uh, fault finding on the loop. So the learner has to wire up the loop, tune the loop, and finally we do, we do various, uh, various fault finding on the loop itself. So it could be a wiring fault, it could be a controller fault, it could be a fault in the field itself. And uh, that is part of a uh, PID control. And that we don't only control level, we can control flow, pressure, temperature, speed, conductivity, pH, etc. using the same principle of sensing the, the process value, evaluating it and using the valve as the final control element to maintain the process set point.